Hello, my name is Farzad Hejazi. I'm Associate Professor from Civil Engineering Department, University of Putra, Malaysia. Our invention title is Semi-Active Bypass Viscous Damper Device, which is applicable in the bridge to protect them against vehicle vibration during the heavy traffic. I'm making up this video from Manchester, UK, where I came to approach government of the UK to implement of this device in the bridge to protect them against vehicle vibration. Our team member have included of the myself from UPM, Prof. Tatu IR, Dr. Muhammad Saleh Jaffa, Professor from UPM, Dr. Thomas Chong, Director of the Hercules Engineering Company, who licensed our product for mass production, Associate Professor Dr. Raizal Saifulnaz Muhammad Rashid from UPM, and also the Hengame Farahpur, our PhD candidate and research assistant in University Putra, Malaysia. These days, by increasing the number of the vehicles, the bridge are subjected to severe vibration during the heavy traffic hours which these vibrations have harmful effects on the bridge and in the long time cause damage in the structure and also rubber bearing which require to continuously control the bridge and repair the structure components and also rubber bearings which is cost a lot. The JKR Malaysia is frequently monitored the bridge and reported a lot of the bridge damage due to severe vibration effect during the various traffic loads. Repairing of the disc damage, which is required to stop the operation of the bridge, lifting up the bridge deck and change the rubber pad is a very challenging process, which causes a noticeable maintenance cost. In order to address of this issue, we try to innovate and develop a smart and intelligent semi-active bypass viscous damper device in order to just change its own operation to dissipate the vibration depend on the traffic loads during the peak hours or medium hours. The viscous damper is one of the most efficient lockup systems in structural and bridge design. To prevent the damages due to any type of vibration excitations, the performance of device can be adjusted for various stroke range of 1 up to 10 or more inches and capacity of 10 to 1000 ton force with different damping coefficients. Therefore, the adjustable performance of developed system is leading the extensive application of this device in various types of buildings and bridges to act based on design requirement. The lab testing results are indicated that the developed adaptive viscose damper is able to absorb the huge applied forces compared to its weight and size. The developed semi-active bypass viscose damper device is consisted of piston shaft which is located inside of the cylinder and able to move inside after filling up the cylinder by oil. Two bypass pipes are installed in both sides of the cylinder, then the oil can flow through the these bypass pipes from one chamber of the cylinder to another chamber during the movement of the piston shafts. Two digital wireless control valves are installed in bypass pipes in order to control the flow of the oils and generate damping force to dissipate vibration. Two pressure transducers also installed in bypass pipes to send the oil pressure data to the controller using wireless communication system. The special control system is designed for this invention to receive all bridge movement data due to heavy traffic and analyze this data and determine the best performance of the bypass viscous damper device to be taken to minimize the bridge vibration. As it can be seen in here, how the control system and also bypass viscous damper device already installed in the bridge. So the bypass viscous damper device is installed in the joint between of the bridge deck and superior of the bridge in order to just control the movement of the bridge. So here is the detail and various parts of the developed integrated control system, which is consists of the LVDT or displacement sensor, where located and installed in the bridge deck to send the information regarding of the bridge movement to the control system using wireless communication system. The main control system which designed to receive this data and also receive the data from digital pressure transducer of bypass viscous damper device. Then the control system as programmed and trained by us is analyzing all the this bridge movement data and also the damper pressure data then determine the best required pressure for damper device. Then the required demand for damper operation is sending to the control valve which already installed in the bypass viscous damper device through the wireless system to change the pressure of the device and adopt the performance of the device according to the required performance of the bridge and minimize traffic loads effect on bridge structures. 
Here is showing of the all arrangement of the bypass viscous damper device in the bridge, also installation of the control system beside of the bridge and how they are working to each other. So as it can be seen in the this in the, this animation, how the this bypass viscous damper device is connected to between of the joints of the bridge deck to the pier of the bridge and also just control system is installed beside of the this bridge piers. So during the movement of the bridge during the heavy traffic, the all of the displacement data is recorded by using of the transducer and the, those transducers are sending of the, this data through of the wireless communication system to the control system. So the control system analyzing of the, all of the this displacement and movement of the bridge data and determine the one is the what is the best performance for the viscous damper device to be taken to minimize the movement of the bridge. Various components of the proposed system already designed by use of the fine element method and many analyzes have been done in order to just make sure that the system is work properly and also the all of the control system is designed based on the optimum performance. The patent for this invention already filed in five countries, including of Malaysia, US, Canada, Japan and New Zealand, which already granted. This product already presented to the Deputy Director of the JKR Malaysia and based on the advantages of the, this invention, the JKR is already approved to implement it in some of the bridge in Malaysia to protect them against the traffic loads during the peak hours and also reduce the maintenance costs and also increase the effective life of the structures. This product already received fund from Platform Venture Malaysia for around 1,453,000 ringgit on the program of Innovate with High Impact Program in order to conduct tests in full scale and apply for the all required certification in order to use of the, this device in the real industry project in the buildings and also in the structure. Thereafter, this device already tested in University of California, San Diego by using of the shaking table and also high uh, strong uh, act dynamic actuator in order to just certify the performance of the, this device in order to just use in the design of the bridge and also the structures. Based on extensive experiences of Hercules company led by Dato Thomas in the field of vibration isolation systems, UPM and Hercules are collaborated for joint research and further development of damper systems to implement the developed vibration dissipation device in real construction projects. The main aim of this research group is to provide safe shelter for more than 1 billion people against natural disasters. The main strengths and advantages of the proposed semi-active bypass viscous damper device can be summarized as having five international patents in Malaysia, US, Japan, Canada, and New Zealand. Having a smart and adaptive performance, as mentioned before, the this device is smart and able to change its own performance in order to just minimize the bridge vibration during the heavy and medium traffic loads. Having less maintenance since it's able to just intelligent, smartly able to just reduce the vibration effect in the bridge, therefore reducing of the maintenance cost. And also it's cost effective since there is no any high pressure system for viscous damper. That's why the cost of the system is reducing. Therefore, in comparison of the DST device with the similar product in the market, such as a wall damper device, the passive viscous damper types or MR damper types based isolation or conventional system can be considered of the DST device as a much more demand since it's high performance availability of the raw material which is only a steel and oil no destructive effect on the bridge have a less maintenance cost to make and also the price with the price is almost half in comparison or half or 20 or 30 percent less in comparison of the alternative device in the market therefore it's more easy to penetrate and approach the market the semi-active bypass viscous damper device already installed and implemented in the Singapore Malaysia Second Cross Bridge. This map is showing of the location of the, this bridge and is showing about the pier of the bridge which this bypass viscous damper device already installed. So as it can be seen in here, the bypass viscous damper device is installed between of the pier of the bridge and also the deck of the bridge. So uh, the performance of the, this viscous damper is changing of the bridge movement according to the applied traffic loads in order to just make the bridge take as a stable. So the all various components of the 
purpose bypass viscous damper device already manufactured in the Hercules Engineering Center in Berhad, and this can be considered as one of the biggest viscous damper device in the worldwide. The device already transported to the side, so you can see about the, how is the installation of this device in the bridge, in the second cross bridge of the Malaysia and the Singapore. The main feature of the bypass viscous damper device in the glands can be described within the five criteria. The first, which is the object of the invention, in terms of the having intellectual properties, the patent or the file for this invention in five countries, include of the Malaysia, United States, Canada, Japan, and New Zealand. In terms of the having the publications, two papers already published for viscous damper device in Q1 and Q2 journals. Also for details of the viscous damper device already published in two newspapers of the Star and also the Cosmo during the few reporter interview. Also as a media coverage, this device already showed in the TV program by Astro Awani and also the TV one in the Do It program. The second criteria, which is applicability of the invention in terms of the usefulness of the bypass viscose damper device as demonstrated before, through its high performance, that this device can protect the structures and bridge against any applied dynamic load as well as natural hazard. It is cost effective and easy able to manufacture and also able to reduce the maintenance and construction costs. In doing the Due diligence aspect, many studies have been conducted for this product, such as a market study, SWOT analysis, problem and solution interview, and thereafter all government and technical requirements are reviewed. Then this study have been done through the some courses which made in Might Malaysia. So regarding the impact degree of this invention, it can be summarized as it's guaranteed the safety of the bridge and reduce the maintenance costs as well as increase effective life of the bridge. Therefore, due of the disadvantages, the JKR approved to use of this device in bridge in Malaysia. Also, the old and new design of the bypass viscous damper device and new development made it different in comparison to the other products available in the market to protect the structures against harmful vibrations. There, the status of this invention can be considered as eight and nine as a commercial transition and semi-works scale technology demonstrations. In aspect of the commercial potential, as we have made many market study and approach the industry, there is an intense and wide market for bypass viscous damper device in United States, UK and Europe, beside the Malaysian and Asia market. Therefore, we have made all our business plan and market strategy for viscous damper device to penetrate the international market as well. Also, as mentioned before, the bypass viscous damper device already licensed to Hercules Engineering Center Amber Hot for mass production and is already commercialized to use in second cross bridge Malaysia and Singapore. Our main aim is to protect of the bridge against vehicle vibration during the peak hours and reduce the maintenance cost of the bridge. Thanks for watching of this video and please contact us for any further information. Thank you.